October, uh, my first time ever, and yeah, November is right around the corner. I'm pretty much not able to do anything else for prepping until um, after November 1st, so like what I have done is done, and I just have to go with it. Um, I finished my outline, and I finished my character sheets for all of the different characters that I'm gonna have in this book, which I'm really excited about because there's just so many unique and different characters. That was probably the most fun I had with the whole prepping. And then the last thing I did was the vision board and I put all the new characters on. Can you see her? Hi. She's going crazy. We just went on like an hour long walk, so she's very hyper. Um, so yeah, I am pretty much ready to go for November and I'm really excited. My official goal is to do 50,000 words. I'm nervous, you guys. Like, I really hope I can do it. I really want to do it. Um, but November is busy. And I looked at the calendar. I think I only have 20 days available in November that I potentially could write for, which means I would have to write 2,500 words a day. And that's a lot. <laughs> and then I also have two mini goals that I want to do. One day, I want to write 10,000 words in the day. And another goal is to do 5,000, which I'll probably do the lower one first and work my way up to 10,000. But yeah, those are my goals. 50,000 overall. I'm going to get a really good chunk of the way through my book. I'm going to try as best as I can to write the book from start to finish, just so I think that is a lot better for character development, uh, which I did not do with the first book. So my editing process with the character development took longer. So I want to try to change that. And I am going to attempt to stick with a schedule. So when I wrote the first book, I am, I'm a night shift nurse, so I wrote it at night, um, which is great because I don't have any distractions, no one interrupted me, but I want to try my best to be a normal human being <laughs> and um, write and edit not edit, because I'm not gonna edit in November, just write during the day. So my goal is to wake up at 10 a.m. every day and start my day, and then when I need breaks, I'm going to try to mix it between doing yoga and walking Nari, and when I walk Nari, that's when I can listen to my audiobooks, and I will still read, because I can't stop reading, I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so must-haves that I'm gonna try to have for NaNoWriMo. Again, this is my first time ever, so if you guys have um, recommendations, ideas, please let me know on how to get through this. But my must-haves are slippers because I wanna be comfy, and along with that means a blanket. My house is freezing, so like I need to write wrapped up and warm. Uh, lots of coffee, lots of energy drinks. I have my, I'm gonna hang up my vision board so it's right where I'm writing. I have my desk all ready to go. Um, my character sheets will be printed out so like everything will be before me. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited. So probably the next time I do an official NaNoWriMo vlog, it's actually gonna be NaNoWriMo. I'll see you guys then.